I want to leave you with one more incredible, breathtaking image from the moon. OMG. <laughs> Hello friends, just after the historic moon landing, Blue Ghost Lander captured its own shadow on the moon's surface. And it's the first image captured by this Blue Ghost Lander just after the touchdown on the moon's surface. After that, Blue Ghost captured this incredible moon shot following a successful touchdown on the lunar surface. This image shows the moon's surface and Earth on the horizon. Blue Ghost Solar Panel, x band Antenna and Lexi Payloads are also in this view. Carrying a suit of NASA Science and Technology payloads to the moon, Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost Mission 1 touched down on the lunar surface at 3.34 am EST on Sunday. Throughout the Blue Ghost mission, the agency's scientific instruments aims to test and demonstrate lunar subsurface drilling technology, regolith sample collection capabilities, global navigation satellite system abilities, radiation tolerant computing and lunar dust mitigation methods. The data captured could also benefit humans on Earth by providing insight into how space weather and other cosmic forces impact Earth. Let me tell you that Blue Ghost Mission 1 will delivering 10 science and technology instruments to the lunar surface as part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. After launching on 15 January, Blue Ghost has spent approximately 45 days while traveling to the moon. Now Blue Ghost Lander landed in the Mare Chrism and it will operate payload for a complete lunar day that is about 14 Earth days. On March 14, Firefly expect to capture high definition imagery of a total eclipse when Earth blocks the sun above the moon's horizon. Blue Ghost will then capture the lunar sunset on March 16, providing data on how lunar dust levitate due to solar influence and create a lunar horizon glow first documented by used in CERNAN on Apollo 17 mission. Following sunset, Blue Ghost will operate several hours into the lunar night.